he goes, yo, was that Sum 41? <laughs> So one time we're just like performing. I go to this guy in the audience, I go, you look like the drummer from Sum 41. And then he goes, I am. And I go, shut the fuck up. I don't know why I got angry. I right. go, you're not. <laughs> I finished my set and I knew the bartender well and he comes over and he's with this badass chick. She's dope. He goes, hey man, good job. I go, thanks bro. He goes, but I am. I go, you're what? He goes, I'm, I'm the drummer from Sum 41. I go, I don't think so, man. And he. <laughs> Pulls his shirt up and it says some 41. I go, whatever, bro. And I turn my back to him and the bartender goes, Dave, I think it's him. I go, it can't be. She goes, it's him. So I turn and he goes, what are you doing? Uh, you want to come party with us? I go, ah, I can't, man. I work at Price Chopper. I got a 9 a.m. shift. And she's like nudging me. She goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> go with this guy. Because he gave me this look of like, what? So I go, yeah, man. We get in the cab. I'm in the cab with this guy, Steve, from Sum 41. So I'm like, I don't know what to say to him. I'm nervous. I start shitting on bands that are his friends by accident. Like, I'm like, I don't fuck. I hate Good Charlotte. He goes, oh, they're good people, man. They're my friends. I go, and i trying to do like whack jokes. I go, how come every white band has one brown guy? And then he was like, I don't know, because they had a brown guy. So it, nothing was working, the jokes. And he, and he goes, yeah, we're going to this bar because the concert got canceled because the lead singer is throat. I go, oh, so we get to the door and he's like, I'm from Sum 41. The bouncer goes, nah, sure, man. He wouldn't let him. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen someone do this move. He pulled out those Visa black card and he goes like that. And the guy goes, okay, man. And he just let him in. Oh, nice. I never move. seen that. And I was like, oh, we get in there and now Billy Talents, there, like all the some 41 people that Billy Talents did. He is, I'm, I'm drinking the most I've ever drank. Anytime, I, my hand was never empty. Right. And I know I have to work at Price Chopper in the morning. I go, I, I, I'm not from these people's lives. This guy was getting drunk too, Steve. And he kept telling all the band members and people, anyone he met, he goes, this guy's so funny, man. This fucking stand-up comedian, Dave. Stay. But I wasn't a full time, you know? And I had to tell him, I go, we're both getting drunk together. I go, hey man. You gotta, you can't tell, they don't know who I am. You're just leaving me with nothing. You're saying it and they're staring at me. Like I have no, I'm, they don't know. They, you know, he goes, ah, come on. And he's getting like drunk, drunk. He goes, he goes, I fucking get it though, man. I get the heckles. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Like he's, now he's getting like personal. And I don't know this guy that well. He goes, sometimes man, when we're at much music and they're fucking chanting the lead singer. He knew his name. I can't remember his name. He goes to chanting his name. I just think, man, like, there's other people in the band, man. Like, he's breaking down. I go, oh, shit. And it, it, we're against the wall. So I'm like, oh, man, this is weird. And it looks like, I don't know if he's going to cry. Like, I don't know if he wants a hug. I don't know what to do because I don't know this guy and I'm wasted. And I look dead center in his eye and I go, hey, man, at least you, you're not pussy like Hoobastank. <laughs> That's why I and I liked Hoobastank. I don't know why I threw them under the bus. But again, I had to work at Price Chopper. So I go, I got to get there. Did you laugh at the Hoobastank thing? I can't even remember. He was so drunk, bro. We were both drunk. Okay. Bro, I had to get out of there. Like, I was like, I was afraid. Right. I go, I can't puke in front of these people. I go, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to piss and I'm going to fucking get the fuck out of here and say bye to nobody. So I'm peeing and I shit you not. I hear a bang. The door opens and he goes, woo. He goes, I thought you left. You didn't leave. And I'm. Well, the way I'm peeing, like I turn, I'm terrified because I don't know who it is. And I turn, dick in my hand, and I see it's Steve. And then his girlfriend, they're like, you're not leaving, man. You're not leaving. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I want to go home. He goes, come out. Drinks on me. We're doing it. <laughs> I swear, to you, the door closes, and I'm just stuck. You know, it's like a movie. I'm stuck there. I go, I don't want to go out there. What the fuck am I going to do? I want to go home. I work a price chopper. I swear to you, some guy fucking comes from the top of the stall the shitter next to me his head over it and he goes he goes yo was that some 41 <laughs> I go, I go, and i wasn't even happy i went yeah man it's steve and i just <laughs> i want it out it was like and but i went to work at price chopper the next day 9 a.m thanks very much for watching if you liked what you saw it would be great if you would go ahead 
and uh, push the, the like button. Also, it would be great if you just subscribe to the channel because people are always asking, how many subscribers do you have? And it's not a lot.